On today's episode of Relationship Chronicles, this woman is going viral on social media for telling women why they should not be stay-at-home moms. Just watch the video. Coming from somebody who has been a stay-at-home girlfriend for three years, it's not the life you want. And when I say stay-at-home wife, mom, girlfriend, whatever, I mean you are relying solely on your partner's income. But I saw a quote a long, long time ago, and I wish I listened to it. If you give a man the power to feed you, he also has the power to starve you. But when I tell you there was no amount of gifts, trips, nothing truly made me happy. And honestly, I convinced all of you that I was living the life. I feel like that's what a lot of women do. They try to convince themselves and everybody else that they're enjoying their life of not having anything for themselves. I was showing you guys this nice apartment, my daily target runs, you know. I was going crazy every single day. And there is a lawyer on TikTok, but she said the divorce rate with stay-at-home moms and wives is very, very high. Um, It's kind of the, the same story every time on why they're filing for divorce. Uh, You know, the man says, you don't have to work, just stay with me. All you gotta do is take care of the family. To a lot of you guys, that would be music to your ears. If he is paying for your whole life and you don't have any income at all, there will start to be a resentment. I'm just glad I was young. I didn't have any kids. I was not married. I was able to start my life before I wasted more years just staying in the house. Being in a relationship where you know you will have nothing when you leave or if this person ever leaves, that's not going to feel good, you know? And also something else I didn't like about having my life completely funded was you kind of have to let them do whatever they want. They like go about things differently and tolerate a lot of BS because your life is on the line. And as delusional as I was, I knew that I never wanted to be a stay at home mom. Once you add kids into the equation, you're probably never gonna leave. Cause once you pop out that kid, that's when you really, really sign a death contract. Like you can't go back now. Cause if you leave, not only do you have to fend for yourself, you have to fend for an innocent life too. So you're definitely not leaving if you have no income. Uh-uh, I ain't doing no wrestling. Getting back into the workforce is not easy. Go ahead and do your research. And I'm pretty sure you're thinking, oh, I could just get alimony. That's like a unicorn. You, do you know how much money that man makes? Did you make him sign a prenup? Because you will get comfortable staying at home, not doing shit. And then before you know it, 10 years passes by, you got kids, your husband's cheating on you with a younger woman. Are you gonna stay or are you gonna take your kids, get a divorce, get a job? Staying home and taking care of the kids and the house, I think that's outdated. We're in a different time now. I, I do believe a man should provide, but I do believe that you should have your own income too. I'm just gonna be real. I think all men cheat, especially if they have money. They have access to hundreds of women that look better than you. That might be controversial, but it's the truth. So I don't think that putting your whole life into a man's hands is a good idea right now. But I'm just being real and I'm just trying to look out for the young women who are planning their whole lives around being a stay-at-home wife. And I hope that there are some stay-at-home wives, moms, girlfriends watching this. I hope you guys can put your pride aside and back me up in the comments and, and tell them I'm right. Anyways, I hope you guys listen to me, even though you probably won't. Love you. First of all, comparing stay-at-home girlfriends to stay-at-home wives, especially those with children, is crazy. I want to know what is a stay-at-home girlfriend, but I would guess it's a sugar baby who gets a lifestyle funded by a boyfriend. But if I'm wrong, let me know. I know every woman is different and one woman doesn't speak for all, but it's really hard understanding what women want nowadays. Because today, y'all don't want to work, y'all don't want to pay bills, and y'all want to be catered to. But tomorrow, it might be a whole different story. At some point, you got to pick a side and stand on it. A stay-at-home girlfriend is not a real thing. And there is no security in that. You better work and get your life in order. When the man marries you and you have the option, you can then choose to work or be a stay-at-home wife or mom. Don't get me wrong. I will always advocate for women having their own no matter what. But if you get the freedom of being a stay-at-home anything 
and don't have small kids to look after, you better use that time wisely. You can get a few certifications. You can spend more time with family, read books, learn more about business, or even learn new recipes. All I'm saying is you got to do something productive with that time because you will have regrets if it ends and you have nothing to show for it. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.